Shalom. Uh, of course, I want to give uh, all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Racha Hakodash. All right. Uh, of course, uh, double honor to El Apostle at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to, of course, the sincere Akim that's doing his work. All right. The sincerity. All right. Brother Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp. Of course, going into another part of the lesson, going into the chariots, angels, answering a question. A question. All right. Well, of course, um, was being before I left off, I was going into the image of the angels being, of course, that they're dark skinned. All right. They're dark skinned men. All right. When you go down into it. All right. Um, all right. So let's uh, continue on. The last last, I think, verse I was on was about Ezekiel, the first chapter. All right. And at verse seven. All right. One and seven. It says in their feet were straight feet and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cast foot and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass all right so you know you go into what brass is all right that's a brown all right you go into it okay so the angels they're dark-skinned men all right when you go into it all right and they ride of course in these vehicles called the chariots all right of israel which y'all are going to be called ufos all right now I'm a, of course, uh, of course, I'm going to it because they, of course, you know, the, uh, the angels, which um, when you go into it, um, Yahweh Shai, who were already called Jesus Christ, he's coming as an angelic power. And what does he look like? He looks like a so-called black man. All right. Or a man of color. All right. So we'll go into it. All right. So this is um, Revelations. All right, which uh, we'll start at one and one. The revelation, which we reveal of, of, it says Jesus Christ verbatim. All right, but we know the true name is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. All right, Christ, we uh, Christ, call Christ. All right, Hamashiach. All right, Hamashiach, the Messiah. All right, in the Hebrew. All right, which the, the, uh, the Most High, it says God, gave unto him to show unto his servants things which, which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant john all right so of course you had of course um this prophet john the revelator who received the vision all right all right he of course he received and seen what who what uh the world and he calls jesus christ what he looks like according to the bible it says right this is uh this is uh revelations now the first chapter all right and which when you read into it, like if you read, see my uh, other lessons uh, in verse seven, verse uh, uh, seven, one and seven, it says, behold, he cometh to the clouds and everyone shall see him. All right. Which you which you learn clouds is talking about the UFOs, which are the chairs. All right. He, he going to come in Jesus Christ. We are going to call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai. He's coming back in chairs. All right. So-called UFOs with his fleet. All right. It says, and every eye shall see him and they also which pierce him and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him and even so i all right now let's go into of course what yahweh shai who you call jesus christ look like all right so it says uh verse um i'm gonna go into it um yeah i'll just read the whole thing verse uh 13 1 revelations all right revelations 1 and 13 and in the midst of seven candlesticks one under the son of man all right son of man that's the yahweh shai all right clothed with a garment down to the foot and the girt or the paps of a golden girdle. He's a man of war. So, of course, he has, of course, a, a golden girdle. All right. He didn't have a Roman toga. It says his head and the hairs was white like wool. All right. Now, you know, they go on with these, uh, like they go and say, like, uh, the aliens have these big, strange heads and stuff. You know, you know, that they, they, they going off. All right. You know, you see, of course, they have the, the angels, they have afros and such. All right. OK, so let's go into it. And Yahweh Shai, who we were in called Jesus Christ, he had an afro. All right. He, he go back to the tribe of Judah, which, you, of course, you get that in uh, Hebrews 7, 14, for it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. All right. And, of course, um, you know, our Lord is Yahweh Shai. And he came out of the tribe of Judah, which that's the tribe, uh, what you call the so-called Jews. Or it's like what you call the Jews. All right. Because they are the actual Jews, which are the Negro, all right? When you go into it. The, those fake Jews, they're not the real Jews, all right? The ones that are impersonating uh, 
the, the true Jews, all right? They're living in the land of Israel. Right now, they're not the real Jews, all right? They're, they're devils, all right? It's being deceivers. All right, anyway, to stay on point, it says, And his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. He drank a lot of wine, right? That's why, of course, when we uh, drink a lot of wine, uh, of course, we get uh, Negroes tend to get uh, uh, bloodshot red eyes and such, all right? So it goes on, it says, And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burnt in the furnace, all right? So, of course, if you take fine brass, but you take uh, take brass and, and burn it in the furnace, you get a dark color, all right? In which that's how we're shy, all right? He, he's a dark-skinned man, all right? And his voice was the sound of many waters, all right? Which got on the point. The angels look like, the angels, they look like, of course, Yahweh Shai, all right? Which, of course, when you go into it, you know, he's a dark-skinned man, all right? But we do come in all different colors, you know, us uh, Israelites, all right? Now, but you, you go into it, you know, um, you know, it has color, all right? We have color, all right? The angels, they have color, all right? Because when you go into it, you know, there's no such thing as a fucking uh, green man, all right? That's bullshit, all right? So anyway, I've covered that. Now, let's uh, address, um, uh, of course, um, Second Edges, the 13th chapter, all right? What, what they're going to be coming down, they're going to be coming, bringing, of course, death and destruction, all right? They're going to be shooting, of course, laser beams and all of that, which I'm just going to describe here in the Holy Scriptures, all right? That's why I say, blessed is he that readeth, all right? Because if you read, you would know about what these so-called UFOs are, all right? So, you know, if you, uh, if this, you understand and it's narking on into this, you know, uh, you know, it may, might be a possibility that your spirit is of an Israelite, you know, but, you know, otherwise, you know, you might be like, this is all bullshit. What the fuck is this so-called Negro talking about, all right, which I, you know, you know, I only look dark skin. You know, luckily, you know, fortunately, how about Shemesh? I gave me the dark skin. You know, which my tribe, Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, Apara Yum in the Hebrew, which means uh, I am fruitful. All right. Um, you know, we we have light skin usually, our dark skin Puerto Ricans. All right. But anyway, to go on. All right. Um, this is the second address. This is the Apocrypha, which was taken out of the Bible, all right? The King James 1611 Bible, all right? So you have to go into it, but that's by the Bible Destruction Group, all right? This is the authorized version of the, of the King James Bible, the 1611, which I don't have the actual 1611. I have a, a, just a separate copy because, uh, you know, they took it out of the original uh, 1611. So, we, you know, all the other Bibles that have been issued other than the 1611 don't contain the Apocrypha books, all right? So in the books here, the Apocrypha, which... In 1611, if you haven't seen 1611, King James Bible, if you go to the book of 2nd Edges, in the 13th chapter, it has, of course, um, this account right here, which is going to, of course, go into uh, these uh, these um, these chariots, all right? I believe there's another, um, there's another, there's a, there's a, uh, it's a precept, um, what it talks about, of course, a, a war, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Revelations, the 12th chapter, and the seventh verse. All right, because there's of course going to be um, a war in the in the heavens. All right, now a lot of people got this verse. Uh, of course, uh, they have these confused and all that. You know, they don't have understanding. So let's get to understanding. It said Revelations 12 and 7. And there was a war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon, which the dragon is the so-called white man, all right? Esau, Edom, all right? The Edomites, all right? They're the dragon, all right? It says, um, and the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven, all right? You know, which you're going to go into it. There's going to be a war in heaven when, of course, the government, all right, all these these uh, NATO, uh, you know, the EU and such, all of their forces, the Air Force and all of them, they're going to fight with the uh, the chariots, the UFOs, all right, of the angels, and, and, and they're going to lose, all right? And I'm, it's going to have the account to back it up in uh, the second edges, the 13th chapter, 
All right, Second Exodus 13 and 1. It says, And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by the light. Night is the prophet Ezra. All right. It says, And lo, the, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the ways thereof. And behold, and it's like it says, And I beheld, and lo, the, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. All right. And it says, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. All right. And that's talking about Jesus Christ. Will you ignorantly call Jesus Christ? All right. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, uh, Yahweh Shai. This is that man. OK. It says, and whosoever the voice went out of his mouth or whensoever, it's like it, all they burned that heard his voice like. As the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. All right. And it says, um, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. All right, because uh, who you didn't call Jesus Christ, he's coming a big ass UFO. All right, a big like they, they would call a mother ship. All right, um, he's coming a big UFO, and the, the edges, the prophet, he's going to describe it. All right, he says, and behold, I'm going to back, back to the second edges 13 and 6. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, and he flew up upon it. All right, so you had what you were only called Jesus Christ. Um, he has a, a huge UFO, all right, and it looked like a mountain, all right? That's what the prophet Ezra described it as, all right? Like you re see the movies like Independence Day and all of that, all right? World of the Wars and World, 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 of, the War, World of the Worlds, War, or something like it, that movie, all right? Tom, I believe Tom Cruise in it, all right? They have, of course, um, you know, the, this war, all right, in the actual, you, you say, in the movie, all right? And it says... Uh, but I would have you have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven. I could not. So the, the, the prophet couldn't see the end of this, uh, this UFO. It was that big. It was massive. Okay. It says, verse 8, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and durst, yet durst fight. All right. So, of course, you know, um, all of these different uh, forces, all right, that's going to fight uh, the, the chariots of the UFOs when they come back, which are the, the angels of the, of the Most High coming, of course, to deliver the chosen uh, of, of uh, the nation of Israel. That's the Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, which go back to the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? They're the only ones, of course, that, of course, have salvation. Two-thirds of them going to get cut off and get destroyed by, of course, the fire that's going to come out of the, uh, the chariot's mouth, all right? All right, with, with the concentrated fire, which is going to describe, all right? And, and, and it goes into, like, you know, the, the, the multitude, all these armies and such in the air with the fighter jets and all of that, all their different weapons, they're going to try to fight. You know, they're going to be scared, but the spirit's going to be on them to fight, all right? Because the Lord is controls, he controls everything, all right? Everything is under his control, all right? Um, let's go on. It says... Uh, uh, it says, And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held, his, held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fires, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempters. All right. So this goes into the, the lasers. All right. The laser beam, the concentrated fire that comes out of chariot. All right. That's going to be bringing forth destruction. All right. Destroying the, the hosts or the armies of the so-called white men, the Edomites. All right. All right. It's going to be these, these, these lasers being going to be destroying the, uh, the, the uh, wicked, the two thirds of, of the nation of Israel, which are won't, of course, receive salvation. All right. They're going to die on this side. Because that's how the Lord gets down. Because they don't listen to this truth. All right. They don't believe in this. All right. They don't believe in him. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
It says, verse 11, um, I'm going to start back at 10 because I don't want to miss anything because I, I'd be losing thought. All right, sure. It says, but only I saw that he had sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire out of his lips, a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. All right, which, you know, you have all these different programs. All right, if you go into the research, the so-called white men, you know, which are the biblical Edomites, all right, the elite, they know about these chariots. All right, they've been hiding this, this truth. All right, uh, uh, there's books, you know, when I can go into it, you know, that have this, uh, this truth. You know, pilots have, exp have spoken on this, all right? You know, after, of course, they, uh, of course, uh, retire because they have gag, gag orders, all right? You know, that they, they can't speak about this, all right? Um, it says, and they encounter, of course, these, uh, these vehicles, the chariots, so-called UFOs, all right? Um, and it says, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burnt them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and the smell of smoke when I saw this I was afraid all right so you seen this you know the, the war in heaven was won by the angels which is you know that's the the, the, the chariots all right of, of, of Israel all right are the Negro Latino and Native Americans all right now you go into it, they're gonna be of course beaming up, all right? Or what you like you they say abducting, all right, they're gonna be beaming up the elect while bringing forth the destruction. The elect of Israel, the ones chosen, all right? 144,000 prophets, 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, all right? And of course the one third, the the elect, the innumerable multitude, all right, uh, of believers, men, women, and children, okay? Uh, finishes off verse 12 and after word I saw the same man come down from the mountain which is a chariot UFO and call upon unto him another peaceful multitude all right and that's basically it on there all right now there's a there's a there's an account um, in the book of Kings the second chapter um, our second kings, the second, the first, let me see, where is it at? Yeah, so this is, uh, second kings, right? You read in there, the second chapter, uh, and it has, of course, an account of how one of the prophets, um, Elijah got beamed up into a, a, a so-called UFO, all right? So... You go to, um, I'm going to go to read it. This is, uh, 2 Kings 2 and 3. All right. And it says, uh, and the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, knowest thou that the Lord will take away the thy master from thy head today and he said this, this, this is Elisha right yeah I know it hold ye your peace all right so of course you had this understudy uh Elisha was under of course his prophet Elijah and he of course he was told that he uh his his, his lord his overseer which is Elijah is going to be beamed up into a chariot all right he's going to go of course uh to the spirit world all right so it says, um, it says um, in uh, verse 4, And Elijah said unto him, And Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord Yahweh hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came out to Jericho. All right, came to Jericho. All right, so he, you know, of course, Elisha didn't want to leave Elijah. All right, and then, of course, the prophets, uh, it's going to go on says verse uh, 5 and the sons of prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him knowest thou 
that the Lord Yahweh will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Terry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, as and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And it's and they too went on. All right. It goes on, and it says, verse seven. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood a view far afar off, and they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. Right, and they were divided hither and thither. All right, apart. Right. So they too went over on the dry ground. All right. You know, prophets had spiritual power. In which they're gonna have spiritual power. They're gonna we gonna do greater works than uh, what y'all are gonna call Jesus Christ. Then Yahweh Shai, all right. He of course said that, all right, to us, all right. But uh, you know, I'm gonna continue on just to finish this off because this is already 21 minutes in. It says uh, verse nine, and it came to pass when they were gone over that Elish, Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. All right. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a portion, a double portion of, of thy spirit be upon me. All right. He wanted, of course, a double portion of his, of the Racha. All right. All right. The, the uh, HaKodash, the Holy Spirit. All right. How about Shimei Abishai? Right. Before he, of course, left, you know, Elijah left up into a chariot. But you're going to get it. All right. It says, and he said, this is Elijah saying, he said, that thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall be, it shall not be so. Verse eleven. And it came to pass, as they went, they saw as they still went on and talked, that behold, they appeared a chariot of fire. All right, this is a, a UFO. All right. In horses of fire, all right? You ain't going to see no forces of fire in the sky, all right? This is the way the prophets, of course, described it, all right? It says, and parted uh, them as both asunder. It's, it, it's like it says, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven, all right? So he got beamed up. Elijah got beamed up into a chariot. All right, which we have broken down this lesson, what an actual UFO is. All right, this is this is this is concrete proof, the Bible. All right, with understanding. Okay, it says, um, uh, it says now, um, and Elijah, or sorry, and Elisha saw it and he cried. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, all right, a UFO of Yasha Allah, right, which they're identified, they're the chariots of Israel, so they're not UFO unidentified, all right, they're identified, they're the chariots of Israel now, now you know, and the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them into two pieces, all right, and, and that's it, all right? So you get the understanding of what a chariot is, all right? What the UFOs is, all right? They're vehicles of the Most High, all right? Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai of the angels, all right? Which the Lord is coming back. He said he's not going to meet thee as a man, all right? He's going to come as an angelic power, all right? So, you know, we deal with knowledge here, you know, here at Great Millstone. We deal with only knowledge here, okay? The Lord is a power of knowledge. He deals with knowledge, okay? So that's what we deal with, okay? The prophets, okay? Of course, we got to be the perfect as our Father in heaven. And our Father is a power of knowledge, okay? So let me uh, get a precept, two precepts, and end it off, all right? You know, I went so much into this throughout this whole week, but... You know, it's, it's the water to, of course, the Achim, Ha'achim, all right? The brothers who, of course, helping to edify me, of course, you know? You know, of course, the Shalom, so, of course, uh, the brothers at um, 
uh, Great Millstone Chicago. All right, um, Chicago camp being, uh, you know, with the brother Uriah and such. Uh, you know that that camp out there. You know they of course uh, had some gave some me some edification on certain things. You know of course in some of the brothers in my camp in Great Millstone Philadelphia. But um, let me uh, get this uh, precept. Uh, go to my bookmarks. All right, this is uh, this is First Samuel two and three. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord, it says Yahweh in all caps is the Lord. Is, is Yahweh, his, which means he is, he exists, all right, in Hebrew, all right, Nalashwan Kodash, all right, the holy tongue, is a God, or power, all right, the word God, go back to the word Allah in the Hebrew, which means power, or strength, right, of knowledge, knowing, science, right, which science means knowing, all right, to know, all right, and by him actions are weighed, okay, so the Lord, he deals with knowledge, okay, this is Job 33 and 3, it reads, my words shall be of the uprightness of my heart, all right, which is his mind, all right, lob, the Hebrew word for heart, right, and my lips shall utter knowledge clearly, all right, and you could clearly hear the knowledge of the true prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh when we tell you what the actual UFOs actually are, all right, they're the chariots of Yasha Allah, of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which will bring forth death and destruction to the heathen, the two-thirds, all right, you know, of, of the nation of Israel, all right, and of course, um, bring salvation to the elect Ha'abacharium, all right, um, you know, the, uh, the elect, all right, you know, the ones chosen, because the Lord, as is, as is written, and uh, let me see, I could try to get it, is it, um, let me see if it's like it. Give me one moment. Let me try to get it. In Zechariah 13 and 8, it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, the Lord, Yahweh, it says, Saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third part shall be left therein. All right? So the Lord's going to cut off. Of course, uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel because they're wicked, right? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on thy, on my name, which is Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Yahweh is my power, all right? You know, so the Lord, you know, he's he's he he dealing with, of course, the elect, the ones that know his name, all right, and they're gonna cry out because it's gonna be a, a destructive time coming before his second coming. Yahweh Shai, the Lord Yahweh, when he sent his son down, Yahweh Shai, it's gonna be a time that's gonna be never seen before his time, as the Bible says in Jeremiah the thirtieth chapter in the seventh verse, the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, but Jacob of course shall be saved out of it, all right? You know, so um, I believe there was, there was one other precept I wanted to bring out. I can't quite bring it. I don't remember it off the top of my my head, my lob, but, um, you know, I believe I covered a lot, you know, here. So it's been covered. All right, you have understanding of what the chariots are, what they're coming to do. All right. Oh, uh, I get hit. The, the precept is here because they're going to... Um, like I like like you said, they gonna get uh, uh, chambers. The, the 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 elect they gonna they gonna get beamed up, right? Or what y'all call abducted, right? <laughs> this is uh, Ch Isaiah twenty six and twenty. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. All right, because the Lord, he's coming back. He bring, of course, uh, death and destruction. All right, you don't want to be down here. All right, a part of that that nuclear destruction that's coming. All right, World War Three. All right, and, and, you know, that's what's going to be going on. All right, you know, and and that's, you know, it's a, this is a long lesson. Where you could go on all days. Yeah, call Halalim, La Yehoah Ba Shem Yav Shai. 
Bahashem Rucha Hakwadash. All right. Um, of course, uh, the blonde the elders and apostles at Great Millstone were well. Peace and salutations to the sincere Akim. All right. You know, uh, you know, hopefully this was edifying. Shalom.